Hello and welcome to the 33rd episode of Fresh Off The Reel. My name is Lib. And my name is San Diego Comic-Con attendee Pat. And yeah, like he just said, San Diego Comic-Con happened... Uh, started Today. like two days ago. It's still technically happening, but all the major panels have concluded. Yeah, uh, this today's the last day. Today's kind of the day where you just walk around and look at stuff. And meet people. But we didn't go to San Diego Comic-Con. Because we don't live in San Diego, and that's going to cost too much. But we we did uh, we did look at it, and boy, did we look at it. There was a lot of stuff that got announced, particularly Marvel had a pretty large panel, even after they said that they were not going to show anything until D23. Yeah, that was, like, it was weird, because they said that, and then they, they announced a lot of stuff. Like, granted, most of it was release dates for stuff we either already knew was coming or stuff that was obvious like cap 4 and stuff but we got some titles we got some release dates we got some new announcements we got more new announcements than expected pretty good haul i'd say yeah still feeling a little burnt out on marvel stuff but uh there have been a couple things that excited me yeah but we're gonna save all the marvel stuff to the end because that's where all the all the most of of what we're going to talk about is there. So we're going to talk about some of the other stuff that was shown at Comic-Con because there was a lot of stuff. Uh, so let, let's let's dive into it. So LeBron James is in <laughs> Multiverses. Yeah, I'll just start there. Yeah. I, I'm not a video game podcast, but yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm LeBron James from everyone's favorite movie, Space Jam 2. Everyone's favorite Looney Tune, LeBron James. Is in multiverses. Yeah. Um, to, to age the podcast a little bit, uh, multiverses beta is going on right now. So, and I believe he comes out like tomorrow or something or like this week. So, if you have access to the beta, you can play as LeBron James. Yep, that's something you could do. I have access to the beta. I have not touched it yet. Uh, I don't have access to the beta, but I'm excited for when the game comes out because I'll probably get it. It looks it looks fun. Looks real good. <laughs> And it's free, right? So it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, because they said it was gonna be free, but then when I checked, well, it, 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 it still is free. But there's like a hundred thirty dollar, like collector's premium deluxe edition. Yeah, what the fuck? That comes with like season pass, like like the ten season passes or something. I don't know. Anyway, still not a video game podcast. So, uh, let's uh, let's stop talking about video games. <laughs> I was about to mention the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at Cowabunga Collection. Which is also a video game. But sure, we can move on from video games. <laughs> uh, I'm a Turtles fan. I'm excited. I'm picking that up. But we'll move on. We're we're all <laughs> Turtle fa Turtles fans here. So the going on to some like fantasy stuff. So we we got some stuff for uh, uh, Wheel of Time. So Amazon's Wheel of Time uh, is getting a third season. I haven't watched Wheel of Time, but I I really want to. But I I. I, I've heard of the series, but I never, I was never into it. Do you know what Wheel of Time is? I actually don't know what that is at all. I've never heard of it before. It's a, it's a series of novels, uh, okay. and it's really, really good. Uh, the, the novels were written by uh, Robert Jordan, and most of the, most of the, like I think season one was the first book, and season two is the second book. And it, wait, no, season two is the second and the third book, and season three is going to be the fourth book, is what they said. Uh, I've I've never read any of the books, and I've always wanted to get into Wheel of Time because it sounds awesome. I don't even really know what it's about, but it it, it sounded cool when someone explained it to me. Um, if there's two seasons out already, I'll, I'll maybe check that out sometime. I'll yeah, like yeah it's on Amazon. Anybody who wants to check it out, it's on Amazon. You know what else is on Amazon? house i've been watching that <laughs> you're also on amazon or the boys we get to continue that yeah and you know what else is going to be on amazon that new uh uh lord of the rings show there's a yeah. there's a, a segue i forgot what it's called but it's, they're, they're been seeing a lot of ads for it that's that's one thing for sure that's a lot let me just uh let me just check what that's called but we we got a lot of that, uh, this Comic-Con, but I haven't really been looking at it because I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, of Lord of the Rings. Surprise, surprise. I, I like them. I'm not, like, a, a hardcore 
I need to rewatch these movies every every year or whatever type of person. But I watched it, and I watched them for the first time um, a couple of years ago. So Rings of I Power, can, I, that's it. But other things is good. I'll, I might check out this uh, this show if it, if I hear it's good. You know, I'm not probably not gonna go too far out of my way for it. But yeah, if it's good, I'll check it out. Amazon shows tend to have like good good like funding behind them and stuff. So at the very least, it'll look and sound and and be shot well, right? So. Yeah, it, for sure. I'm sure it's going to be pretty pretty good looking. Uh, but a, a weird thing that was announced alongside this was the female dwarves are going to have beards. And apparently that's a big thing. I didn't read the books, but eh, whatever. I don't know if there's some controversy that maybe they didn't have beards in the old movies. And I, have, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no clue. Uh, so uh, keeping going with the 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 fantasy stuff. So there's a there's a new Gremlins that's coming out. Gremlins: Secrets of Mogwai. I actually I really like the original Gremlins. I know it's a shit movie. It's kind of like trolls level of shit, but it's like good shit. You know what I mean? It's like good shit. You ever it's seen like Gremlins? A, I have. Yeah, it's it's like yeah. a nostalgic shit. You know, like. I think a lot of a lot of people who grew up in that era watch Gremlins, so they have that like nostalgic attachment towards it. But it, we all kind of acknowledge that it's not great. But hey, new thing! It's a show or a movie or whatever. I didn't really look into it that much, but it's called Secrets of Mogwai. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll check that out. That sounds it sounds like a parody. <laughs> uh, but that that's all the little stuff, I guess. Uh, we with this uh other game stuff but again not a video game podcast so we're gonna move on to uh one of the big guns dc so i don't i'm i didn't look into it very much but pat did so uh <laughs> take yeah, we it got a trailer for um Sh- shazam 2 shazam 2 looks fun i i like the first shazam i think the first one is is a, a fun time it's not necessarily great um but um i think it's fun if you just want to turn off your brain kind of superhero movie and just sit back and enjoy it. It's more of a family movie too. It has some really solid moments. It's definitely up there on the, the current DCEU list. Um, so I'd, I'd recommend it if you haven't seen it. That's getting a sequel. The trailer looks like it's more fun. Um, I'll probably be watching this in theaters when it comes out. But beyond that, I don't really have anything to say. Um, Shazam looks fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we got uh, uh, another trailer for Black Adam. Um, I didn't see yeah. this, actually. I did not see that, but I know The Rock was there in costume doing The Would Rock love things. love to see him. <laughs> probably, probably being in character because The Rock is, is, a, is a guy like that. He likes to, to show. He likes to be a showman. But I'm sure that I'm sure that looks like a film. I am, I, I'm pretty indifferent towards Black Adam. I'll probably see it, but like the first trailer... Hasn't exactly sold me <laughs> on on this movie, but I like The Rock, so I'll check it out probably. Yeah, uh, but another thing to mention is that uh, they they confirmed that the Snyderverse is dead completely. They're not gonna do any more Snyderverse movies, which is good. That's a good thing. I think when they say that, they mean they're not continuing off of the Snyder cut, and like they're not they're not doing any more Snyder movies. They're still planning to do like I'm sure if. Maybe Aquaman 3 and, like, Wonder Woman 3. Like, stuff like that is still going to happen. But they're not going to be, like, connected like, like Marvel is doing. And they're not, not going to be tied to the Snyder movies anymore. Yeah. If, get... if that Flash movie that's somehow still being made um, is any indication, we have three Batman in that movie. That movie's <laughs> not coming out. <laughs> it's never happening. <laughs> they're still very adamant on it coming out, but I guess it wasn't at Comic-Con for a reason, right? That's coming out before Shazam, I'm pretty sure. It is? Well, it's... I think. Good luck. That's not that's, really that's gonna like, happen. That's like it for DC, really. Like, they, DC was big on comic books this year. I think they announced like nine different Batman books at Comic-Con, which is great for all like one person who, who doesn't know who Batman is. You got nine more books you can read. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and for all the rest of your DC fans, one day, one day DC will care about you. One day. Oof. That's a low blow. Listen, listen. DC love loves their Batman. They know what makes money. <laughs> I know I know all two of you Green Lantern fans are out there. I see you. DC doesn't. 
I, I saw a post on Twitter that was like someone like spotted a bear in like a Green Lantern like stuffed bear in um in the Shazam trailer. And then the the the, po- the comment was like, uh, Green Lantern fans are so dry that after nine Batman books, they're screenshotting and enhancing images of stuffed bears to find Green Lantern content. <laughs> and like, yep, yeah, that that's all you're getting from DC. If your name's not Bruce Wayne or affiliated with Bruce Wayne in some way, DC does not care about you. Speaking of Bruce Wayne, we got new info on the Riddler show. They're doing a Riddler Year Zero. Oh, they are. I thought they yeah. were gonna. Do- what, what what about the Penguin show? Any news on that? We didn't. We didn't. Uh, we didn't see anything about that. But we saw like I, I don't know if Riddler Year Zero is a show or a a comic, but it's connected to the movie. Okay. Huh. I didn't hear about that. But that that sounds pretty cool. I really liked the Riddler in the Batman. He's a cool villain. Yeah, DC wants you to love Batman. You better, because that's all you're getting. Uh, they, hey, DC, I really like it. It's good. Did I mention there's three Batman in the Flash movie? I think you did. Yeah. Yeah, there's three Batman. Cool. It's a it's a Flash movie. Yeah, it's that's true. <laughs> it is a Flash movie. Caleb, did you know that there's three Batman? the flash all right let's move on <laughs> <laughs> all right so we get, let's get to the main event here uh so Mar- uh, marvel had a a huge panel like we already said we said before that kevin feige said he was saving the announcements for uh d23 the disney event that's a- that actually got announced uh this week when when's it when's it happening in september it's happening in september he said that but not only did he have one really, really big panel on Saturday where they announced movies, right? Yesterday for a, yeah. They also did a, a Friday panel where they announced stuff for the like, animated shows like What If and, and Spider Man and, and yeah, there's lots, lots of stuff for you Marvel fans out there. Yeah, a lot of if, stuff for you Marvel fans and and uh, and that one Groot fan out there. Yeah, you that one Groot fan and all you Marvel haters too, because everybody on the planet is never sleeping again because you're just gonna be consuming Marvel content. With yeah, all your gonna, time. You just like Mar- Marvel just ha- has like your mouth open, just gonna shove more and more Marvel. Here's Blade, Fantastic Four, I am Groot, What If season um, two, like, two and three, and three Loki season two. Yeah, here's She Hulk and 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 more Daredevil, Spider Man freshman year and Spider Man sophomore year. <laughs> we already and know freshman year is gonna be good. But... Charlie Cox is gonna be in freshman year. There's a lot guess- of stuff. Yeah, it, 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 there's a lot of stuff. Arguably, uh, too much stuff. Definitely too much stuff. Yeah, unarguably too much stuff. See, <laughs> like they even so okay. Kevin Feige uh, declared that when Wakanda Forever comes out on September eighth, I think. Uh, like, let me let me check. Uh, no, it's... November eleventh. So Wakanda Forever comes out. On November 11th, and that is the last Phase Four movie. So we thought that all the other ones, like uh, what, all the the next ones, Blade and uh, uh, Loki Season Two, Guardians of the Galaxy Three, he announced that as Phase Four uh, last year at the D22. But now that w- I guess this, it's actually Phase Five now because he realized that Phase Four would be going until 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Phase 5 and, freshly announced, Phase 6. Phase 6. And Phase 4, 5, and 6 have been coined the Multiverse Saga, which nobody's, what nobody didn't see coming. Everybody saw that coming. Okay. I feel like Phase... Like, I feel like Phase 1 was longer. Like, I, I feel like each individual phase was longer than three years. But that's probably because so many movies came out <laughs> in those three years. That it felt like it spanned for longer because I'm trying. I'm thinking about it like phase phase six is one year longer basically. Phase six is ba- well. That's probably not all. Phase six is going to be more for sure. If but but phase six has to end on the double Avengers movies, right? I mean, maybe, maybe there's going to be something because there there's no way that it's two Avengers movie movies back to back. There's got to be something in between. Maybe that's maybe, we're gonna maybe that's maybe. We're gonna put uh, armor wars or something, but like a Fantastic Four yeah. supposed to come out before the first Avengers one, so we don't know. Maybe well, here's the thing, right? Is so like, well, I guess we'll just jump there first, and then we'll we'll, we'll work our way back. I mean, we're we're gonna be jumping around all over the place. This part's unscripted, yeah. so <laughs> because um, I want to talk about freshman year. We'll but talk about, let's talk about the event. Let's talk about the Avengers stuff. So we got two Avengers movies, both announced for 2025. They're they're coming out like six months 
apart. Um, they're probably going to be a sequel to each other. Like Infinity War and Endgame, but even closer somehow. Yeah, Kang Dynasty is in Kang May. Kang Dynasty is and in May, and then Secret, Secret Wars War is, is in, in November. November. Um, Kang Dynasty, I think, is pretty self-explanatory on what it is. Um, we, if you saw Loki, you know Kang is coming. Um, Kang is the main villain of, of Ant-Man 3 as well. That's probably just going to be a variant of Kang. And then we're going to see the true Kang, the one from Loki, as the villain in this one. But see, what, that's like pretty self-explanatory. I, but I want I want to talk about Secret War for a second. Yeah, because <laughs> Secret Wars, the comic, is not an Avengers story. <laughs> <laughs> I know the com the, the like the comic has Avengers in it, and, and like the 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 promo material and and even the 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 art on the cover was just like all the Avengers fighting each other, the Ultimate Avengers and the Mainline Avengers, and like Miles Morales is fighting Peter Parker and blah blah blah. But it's it's not an Avenger story. It is a Doctor Doom and Reed Richards story. So Doctor Doom being the key factor here, because we know Reed Richards is coming, we know Fantastic Four is coming, but Doctor Doom is a key factor in Secret Wars. You need to build up Doctor Doom. You cannot introduce him in Fantastic Four, and he's just suddenly an Avengers villain. You need to build up to him. Marvel, I really hope you know what you're doing. Look, that, do that's not, why I'm do saying. Do not fuck up. Do not fuck up Doctor Doom. Look, that that's why I'm saying. There's no way. It's just these three movies. There's got to be more. There's got to be something in between these two Avengers movies. Here, here's my thoughts. I think they are going to be back-to-back. I think Ant-Man 3 is going to introduce the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. Mm. Like, like it's about the quant- like it's Quantumanium. We're going into the Quantum Realm again. Well, so, I like, think... You think like Quantumania is going to be introducing MODOK and Doctor Doom in the same movie? Because Modoc well, is confirmed for Quantumania. We, 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 yeah, yeah Modoc is confirmed to be in the movie. I think the post credit scene is going to be is going to be Reed and and maybe Reed and Doom, who are still like allies at that point, are gonna are gonna find a, a portal that goes into the MCU. Like it'll end there, right? Or it's just gonna be Reed and and the other the other three opening up a portal and coming into the MCU. And then the uh, the second after credit scene will be. Doom finding Kang's corpse and doing something with it. And that'll be your first, like... That'll be, like, your Thanos tease for Doom. You'll find Kang's corpse and he'll do something with it, maybe. Assuming Kang dies in Quantumanium. That's what I think is going to happen, is we're going to introduce those, all, like, them five in Quantumanium. And then Doom won't be the villain in Fantastic Four, but he'll be in the movie, but he won't be the main villain. And then he'll, his first main appearance will be in in um Avengers 6, 7... Uh, six? F- five is Kang Dynasty, and six, six. is uh, he might Wars. be five. He might be in five, but he'll be the villain in six. Um, yeah, but if I don't think if you're saying he has to be the villain in six. Well, he has to be, but I think he'll be he'll be in five. He just he's not. He'll be like doing something. He's not gonna be the villain. Okay. Like I do think Doom is gonna be the Thanos of the multiverse saga. What if he's, I don't... What if he's in season two of Loki? I really fucking hope not. Well, there's the what 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 else could it be? Just Ant Man three. No, I mean I mean what else could be in Loki season two? I mean, I have no idea. Exactly, right? <laughs> it could be. It could just be like Loki and variants, right? Like, doesn't need to. Yeah, but that, how how interesting would that be? And how interesting was the first one? Kang's the villain there, and I honestly couldn't care less. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it doesn't even need a season two. I don't know why they're doing it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think Loki season two is gonna is gonna be as impactful as season one. Season one was, and really, season one is only impactful because it introduces Kang. Other otherwise, I feel like the the ripple effects from Loki aren't really gonna matter too much to the movies going forward. And unless like Loki is revived at the end, and then he's in Secret Wars and shit, then obviously like that that'll be important. But beyond that, I don't see Loki season two uh, mattering too much, much like with the rest of the shows. If I'm being perfectly honest. Well, I guess the uh, the question has to be asked: Who do you think will play Doctor Doom? Oh, I, I could. I who, who do you, who do you think I, would I be know. a good casting? I think like he's boring, but like I can kind of see Michael Fassbender doing it. I kind of want Michael Fassbender to be Magneto if they bring back the mutants. Um, I, well, they are, but like whenever they bring back the mutants, it'd be down for Michael Fassbender to return as Magneto. But I think Fassbender would be a good Doom as well. Mm. Um, I don't really have any other picks for Doom. Do you have any? I, 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 I don't. I, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I think, um... I don't know who Doctor Doom is, so... I've only seen Doctor Doom in one thing. There's this kid's show called the Su Marvel Superhero Squad that I watched when I was a child, and he was in it. <laughs> and he was, uh, he was a punching bag. Oh, he's also in the, the Lego game, but, uh... He's also a punching bag in a Lego game. Yeah, he tends to be a punching bag in things that aren't comics. Why? What the? Why? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't know because he's this huge fucking threat in the comics. Yeah, I, I think um, Giancarlo Esposito would be a good choice as well for Doom. But doesn't he have to be Russian? He didn't have to be. Well, that's his character. Well, I, I, Marvel has changed lesser things. <laughs> nah. I wouldn't. <laughs> You're right. It's true. You're right. <laughs> I'm excited for that, but uh, get ready to wait because it's uh, this coming out uh, November 2025. Now that this is this is where I think the problem lies is that they're planning ahead three years from now, not even uh, three years in a few months. Because the, the, here's the thing is. You could plan ahead, like, internally, and then, like, you know, be like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're in, uh, like, put, do, like, in a press conference, or instead, like, instead of showing us the movies here, they could have, uh, Kevin Feige just would have been like, yeah, we have, we have a lot of movies planned, oh, I wonder what there they'll be, but now, uh, he kind of just, I don't want to say he spoiled the surprise, because we all knew there were gonna be at least one more Avengers movie, but to announce it now, when it's most likely going to get delayed. I think it's less less of a problem that they announce it, and more of a problem that, like, 90% of, of these movies are getting delayed. Like, the, the, the issue is that they're giving specific dates. The Kang Dynasty is supposed to come out May 2nd, 2025. Secret Wars is November 7th, 2025. How much do you want to bet that these dates are even gonna stick. Last time they did this, only one of them stuck. Stuck. Stuck? <laughs> Last time they did this, only one of them stuck, because, uh, uh it, it was, which, w which movie actually came out when they said it would? It was, uh, what was the one after Black, what, Eternals. That was the only one that actually came out when it was supposed to. I mean, granted, COVID definitely put a wrench in things, and, and this is something they don't really have to worry about anymore. But I still think 90% of these movies are going to get delayed. They're all going to get delayed, even the shows. I think the only sh the only things that aren't going to get delayed are the things that were that we knew about previously, that like already had announcements. Yeah, so here's what's not getting delayed. Okay, here's a list of what's not getting delayed. Quantumania, Ga Guardians 3, and that's it. <laughs> I, I don't think, like, I don't think freshman year is getting delayed. I don't think... Oh, I'm thinking movies. Yeah, freshman year. Like, I think the shows that were previously announced, I don't think those are getting delayed. But all, like, the, the new stuff that we're getting dates for for the first time, or that we're hearing anything about for the first time, like Cap, Cap 4 and, and, and the Avengers movies and, and Thunderbolts, they're all getting delayed. All of them. Every single one. Right. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's keep going here. So... Yeah, like we said before, uh, they split up Phase 4 into two phases. That's Phase 5 now. Uh, phase 4, I mean, Phase 5 is beginning with Quantumania, which is coming out in February. I don't... I'm not excited for that. It's probably not going to be great. But, so we got... We got, uh, we got to more news for Secret Invasion. So we know who's directing it now. I'm actually pretty... I'm not going to say excited, but, like, cautiously optimistic. For for um, Secret Invasion, I think there's a lot of opportunity to do cool things with the scroll, and I, I hope they they take advantage of that. Well, I'm not too hopeful, but I I want to see it succeed. I also think Sam Jackson is a very fun actor to watch. I'm not gonna complain much about more Sam Jackson. Yeah, so we all, we all, Ben Mendelsohn is uh joining the cast. Uh, I really like Ben Mendelsohn. He's in Rogue One. Love that guy. Uh, <laughs> as well as uh, Kobe Smulders is reprising her role as Maria Hill. Bet you forgot her exi she existed, uh, but I found uh, I found who's directing it. His name is Kyle Bradstreet is directing it. What else has he done? Uh, he's done Mr. Robot, uh, The Philanthropist. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, Mr. Robot's already a fantastic sign. <laughs> so yeah. maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be the good one. Uh, yeah, Mr. Rob Mr. Robot is, um, for lack of a better term, 
cinema. If you haven't seen Mr. Robot, please do. Um, but here's here's something funny that happened. So, uh, Marvel accidentally cast the wrong person in Secret Invasion. Uh, they cast Wait, some. They? Yeah, yeah, they casted this guy named uh, Re- Reggie John Page, Reggie John Page, or something like that. They, he was in the cast list for uh, for Secret Invasion at uh, Comic Con, but they they said today that he's not in Secret Invasion. They put the wrong person. <laughs> They're already maybe this is part of it. It's an ARG. <laughs> you think it's an ARG? The invasion has already begun, guys. No, because uh, apparently he he's not supposed he's supposed to be in something else. Might have been a spoiler, but who, who knows now? Who cares now? Uh, so the main villain in Secret Invasion is gonna be um, so it's uh, it's it's Zemo, right? He's the he's the boy, the the one in the purple mask, right? That's him. Yeah, Zemo. Yeah, yeah he's coming back. Uh, I don't like Zemo, so yay! Oh, I'm just looking at the the comic covers for Secret Invasion. This looks awesome. Yeah, it's too bad they're a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and most of that fighting happens off screen. <laughs> <laughs> what is Secret Invasion? It is a story about Reed Richards and Doctor Doom having a conversation in the void while the Avengers are fighting themselves outside off screen. Is this a is this any connection to Secret Wars? Kinda. Yes and no. They're both secret. <laughs> invasion Doom is wants a to, of war <laughs> dr doom wants to take over the multiverse the galaxy the universe the 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 microverse the everything because he's dr doom the uh, reed is like no don't do that <laughs> that's that's an extreme oversimplification <laughs> that's a very very extreme oversimplification uh, well that's coming out in spring uh enjoy that some other shows that are coming out in the uh... 2023 so we already mentioned uh, some of the animated ones we're getting spider-man freshman year and now newly announced spider-man sophomore year i'm so excited i'm so excited tom holland okay, so here's coming the thing. back no tom holland is apparently not reprising his role he's for, not for this show. apparently he's not no no but guess who is charlie charlie Cox. Cox. Yay. <laughs> so who who is doing spider-man do we know we don't know Ah, Yuri Lewenthal, get him. He's a good one. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> He's a good one. <laughs> but yeah, so freshman year is, is happening. Um, So I, like everybody else, was under the assumption that this was the canon origin story for Spider-Man in the MCU. That is what Marvel led us to believe. That's what they said, I believe. They straight up said this. They did say that. At the time. It is not. Not only is it not canon, but there is no way for it to be canon. Yeah. It is impossible for this show to be canon to the MCU. It might take place in the MCU, like a version of the MCU universe, but this is not. I mean, like, the Spider Man might be based on Tom Holland, but this is not Tom Holland's Spider Man. It's something along the lines of, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is based on events that happen in the MCU, but it is not canon. It's like that. Like, th- this is like. It-, it takes place pre Civil War. We know this. There is an homage to the scene in Civil War where Tony meets Peter and Aunt May at the house, right? And and, and Tony, like, hires him, quote-unquote, right? Like, for the, the Stark, Stark internship. internship. Yeah. But it's Norman Osborn instead. And, and Peter, Peter goes to high school, and uh, he has, he has a, his group of friends from the comics, not Ned and MJ. <laughs> he has his comic book friends. So, what, he has a... a... Like, like Harry Osborn, who's in the show. Harry Osborn. And Amadeus Cho, who's not his friend in the comic, but he's a character. He's, he's, he's another Hulk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Amadeus Cho is a Hulk. Um, but he's, he's not in the MCU. Is it, is, are they gonna, are they gonna use MJ or Gwen? We don't know. Neither of them are, are in the cast. Okay. I hope Gwen, but, um, we'll see. Man, who knows? Cause, uh, it's, it's, it's. It's non-canon. It's not. It's not part of Phase Five. It's. It's something completely different. And I bet you. I bet you. It's Sony's fault. And then you know. I'll, you know what else I bet you? I don't not bet you. But you know what else? I. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I'm so happy. But you know. But you know what that means. You know what that means, Pat. You're gonna see. You're gonna. You're gonna see. Uh, Uncle Ben no Uncle die ben. again. No, 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 Uncle Ben. He's not gonna be in it. Gonna, yeah, they're still gonna refuse to acknowledge him, and that's fine. <laughs> um. 
I, I, I saw this joke. I stole the joke from somebody when I said it yesterday. Spider-Man freshman year is like, what if MCU Spider-Man had more Spider-Man influence in it? And I'm happy. Um, this the the creators of the show said they're very big pa- they're very big fans of Spectacular, which excites me because Spectacular is like one of my favorite things ever. The show looks good. I like the art style a lot. It reminds me a lot of the '60s, like Steve Ditko and Stan Lee comics. Mm-hmm. We got confirmation. There's Peter's gonna have a bunch of different suits in the show, which again I like. I like. I I liked multiple suits. I just don't like how the the movies have handled them. But I like Peter having a closet of suits that he wears. You know. Yeah, and it, this is like pre him becoming Spider Man, so him having like like non Spider Man superhero costumes is cool because it's before he found his identity, right? Uh, I I love this version of the the homemade suit where he has like the web canister attached to his backpack in like a tank, and he has tubes going to his wrists. I love it. Yeah, it, it, it looks good. Also, Daredevil's in it, and Charlie Cox is voicing him, and I love him. Yeah, so see, it seems uh, uh Disney's actually doing a bunch of stuff that's like outside of the mcu because we got it's not just a freshman year we also got that that series of shorts i am groot that nobody's gonna watch uh which is something kind of like baymax it's just a, like it's five shorts so why is it taking this long who knows uh, but we also got what if season two and three which are also non-canon to the mcu but season one is Explain that. But they also said that the Captain Carter from What If is not the same Captain Carter from Doctor Strange 2. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It's just and a how... different universe. Well, like, what if, what if is just that, though? It's like, it, they're, they're, they're all three universes. They're not, they can't be canon. Well, who knows now? Uh, that also, Marvel Zombies as another one, I'm not really interested in. Because the Marvel Zombies episode in What If was really bad. Yep, and, and this seems to just be all the new heroes... As heroes versus the old heroes as zombies, and that's it. Yep, that's what it looks like. Uh, I had something to say about freshman year, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you if you live in a major city in the United States or in the UK, they are actually streaming the... the not streaming, but they're showing the, the, the premiere of the show in IMAX. So, check a theater near you. They're doing something like what they did with uh, WandaVision and... Uh, and hey, for freshman year? Yeah, apparently. It says experience um, it in IMAX. You gotta if, you gotta make sure it's a... I, I don't think they're doing it in Canada, though. Okay, well, if they are... We're going. We're going. We're yeah, going. we're going. But it's something like what they did with uh, with all the other like previous shows that, that, that got IMAX releases. Like, uh, I think uh, Inhumans had an IMAX release. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of weird. That is a little weird, yeah. Kind of weird, but cool. That mean that well that that means the the premiere is probably like forty minutes, at least maybe at least thirty. You know, do do we know how long each episode is gonna be? How many episodes there will be? I would imagine it's still six, because they they hate me. Mm. But you know who they don't hate? Daredevil, because he's coming Daredevil back. And he's getting like... eighteen episodes. Yeah, Daredevil is getting a new show. We, it's not really a season four. It's it's a new show. Born but, again. But the the cast is returning. Um, if the title it means what I think it means, which I will not explain because it's a spoiler for season three, and and Lib has not seen that far yet. But um, if um, if it is that we are continuing the continuity of the Netflix show, which is important to me. Um, Daredevil is getting an eighteen episode show, probably forty minutes, like all the other other stuff, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, this one is connected to the MCU. It's part of Phase 5. So, yeah, take that as you will. I, I haven't seen uh, Season 3 yet. I, I'm at We're at, like, the middle of Season 2, I think. A great show. Yeah, really good show. I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I really want to finish it soon. But I have a lot of time because Daredevil Born Again comes out spring 2024. Man, that's a long time. Uh, but I, well, because it's 18 episodes, what I kind of hope they do is do at least two episodes a week instead of their normal one episode a week because that's going to take 18 weeks for the whole show. I, I hope they do the the Netflix approach where they just dump the season. They just dump the season? Yep. I don't know because they're even, they're even the... Drip feeding uh, other shows like the like uh, Solar Opposites is getting a new season uh, on Disney Plus as well as the Orville is also getting a new season and they're drip feeding that as well. 
they're they're probably gonna release it episodically, but I would love if they didn't. You know, it'd be cool if it aired on TV. That'd be cool, because <laughs> then I could record it illegally. <laughs> Yeah, but it's on Disney Plus. You could you could just watch it. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. You, you that thing you pay for. Yeah, so uh, that thing I regretfully pay for. Also, by the way, Disney Plus. Uh, uh, for anyone who's uh, who's angry, you already know that Disney Plus. Uh, the 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 price is going up in like two months. I think it's Wait, going is up. Is it? By, I didn't know that. Yeah, by like that. one dollar. I mean, I am forced to pay for it regardless. So yeah, whatever. it doesn't really matter. Disney has me by the balls. Yeah, but hey. What's another thing connected to Daredevil that's getting a show? Echo is getting a show. We already yeah. knew about this. We knew about it. That's probably not going to get delayed. This is summer 2023. We're jumping all around. Yeah, if you saw Hawkeye, you know who Echo is. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you know how it's not... It's a very boring character. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, I watched the show because I like... I, Echo is a Daredevil character. I mean, I, I'm, we're going to watch the show regardless. <laughs> True. <laughs> we're kind of stuck see here's here's the thing here's the thing about the mcu okay if you started you're stuck you gotta keep going it's never ending i don't think there's there's any plans of the mcu to ever end at this point uh, this is true yeah i'm 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 sure the mcu is gonna keep going when my grandkids have their own grandkids you know it's gonna keep going man who knows what'll happen but uh i'll, I'll tell you the MCU will never end, but eventually they'll run out of fucking shit to do because half the comics are not great. There's still like 60 years of comics. They got, they got stuff to adapt. They See, they've been adapting stuff wrong on purpose this whole time, so they could they could properly adapt it later. It's a, it's a big brain strategy. One day we'll get a civil war that has the Accords matter. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, you know that that's what we're getting. That's what we're gonna get in ten years. We're gonna get remakes of the movies that are already out. <laughs> but they'll be proper adaptations, and then when the, when the movies come out, the comics will have to do some events to tie into it. Like when Civil War was coming out, the comics did Civil War two. So when the Civil War remake comes out, they'll do Civil War three in the comics. And we're never gonna let a comic. That's it, guys. It's, we're we're set for life. Your childrens are set for life. Get buckle in because we're all watching Daredevil forever, and nobody's gonna complain because Daredevil's amazing. Prepare, prepare to tell your kids an incredible story because uh, <laughs> let's, if Disney Plus still exists, it probably will still exist, and it's probably gonna cost fifty dollars a month because of inflation at that point. But uh, you got to get your kids ready because they're going to watch over 200 hours of content just to catch up. I well, think that's where we're at right now. We're at 200 hours, right? That's... <laughs> uh, probably. Oh, phase geez. 4 is like three times as long as Phase 1 to 3 combined. And man, does it feel like it. Yeah, it really does feel like it. Phase 4 is not over yet. It ends in, in November, like we said before. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Wakanda Forever. Is Black the, Panther next? Is it the last? Is it next, or is there something else? Uh, I believe. Like aside from shows, I yeah, believe I that's it. it. Yeah, because after She Hulk, it's gonna be that, right? It's it's uh, she it's uh, She Hulk, and then Black Panther, and it's over. Interesting. Yeah. So we got a trailer for. Speaking of She Hulk, we also got a trailer for that. We got a trailer for Wakanda Forever and She Hulk. We also got the complete cast list for Wakanda Forever. Uh, and we got some, uh, cool info. We got even pop figures. We got everything for Wakanda Forever. The, the, the press tour is starting. Yep, that movie is coming out soon, so you kind of needed a trailer. Especially because there's a, a big change in the cast, so. They, yep. they kind of needed to show something to address how they were going to handle the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman. Um, we kind of, well, we know, we kind of know what they're doing, that he is going to be killed off, either in, um, in either in the cold, in the cold opening or off screen. My bet is, uh, my bet's off screen, but if they, if, if they do it in the cold open, then they're probably gonna CG him in. Is that morally right? You decide. We're not gonna get into that. It's something that they can't just gloss over they can't just be like t'challa's dead all right let's 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 do the let's do our new adventure they gotta do something yeah exactly and then we do know there's a new black panther um we see a shot of of her probably shuri it's probably shuri yeah and riri williams is being introduced in this movie for all you iron heart fans out there she's getting a show that's coming later and she's in this movie 
Yep, it's showing fall 2023. I feel like Shuri is going to be the one to, because she's trying, her whole shtick is she tries to reverse engineer the the Stark tech into making a new Iron Man suit. I feel like she will be involved some way in inspiring Riri to pick up, uh, inspiring Shuri to pick up the mantle of a Black Panther, because she's not going to want to at the start. Well, that's uh, that's my very obvious safe guess. This this movie is probably like I mean it's 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 we already knew that there's not a lot to work with with the Black Panther story because it was kind of self contained. Yeah, I, like like I like Namor. I think Namor's a cool villain. Yeah, he's gonna be in it. Definitely a way they can take things to make it interesting. Um, I'm just concerned with. Because obviously, like, a lot changed, right? Like, like whatever the original plan was, it needed to change because Chadwick Boseman uh, passed away. So I need, like, how how it changed, I think, is what everybody's curious about. And that's why they needed to show a trailer now rather than, like, D23 or something. But yeah, like, how much has changed? How Like, I feel like it went from maybe Namor and the Atlanteans were more involved in the original version of the script, whereas now it's going to be more of a... A personal story because they need to deal with the this major cast death. But I'm I'm gonna watch it like we all are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I hope I hope it's good. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we when we get there. The trailer looks good visually. I have to say. Yeah, that. no, like, yeah, it looks great. It, like, it's it, a very it is a very good trailer. The CG looks uh looks better than the first one. Uh, for sure. The first the CG in the first movie was terrible. Uh, speaking of bad CG, though, She-Hulk. She-Hulk got a trailer. It's a trailer already. Yeah, it sure is. So there's... Daredevil's in it, though, so I'm biased. There's bad, bad CG all around, because the, the, when when she's big and green, it doesn't even look like her lips match what she's saying. It looks terrible. I, I, hope, it's, I hope it's d- decent, because I like lawyer stuff. Yeah, like, like hopefully it's just like I... it's like suits with a green lady. <laughs> yep, a green lady and a blind man with a cane beating people up. He's gonna be in like half of one episode, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, he's, and he's in costumes. So I kind of, I, I think I would have preferred it if he was an attorney, just an attorney, not in costume, not doing the superhero well, thing. I hope we get both. Like that, that's my hope. We're not going to though. That's we're not gonna. Like, like maybe, maybe, um, I don't know the character's name, but She-Hulk will go to seek legal advice from Matt Murdock, and then he's gonna bait some information out of her, because he's a smart lad. And then, when, whenever She-Hulk decides that the system isn't working, she needs to Hulk out and go fight some, fight the bad guys on the streets instead of in the courthouse. Daredevil's gonna jump in with his brand spanking new yellow costume and, and punch people, and I'll be happy and I'll scream like a fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did man. I mention I like Daredevil, guys? I like Daredevil. Man, you're gonna get you're getting 19 Daredevil up. You're gonna get 19 Daredevil episodes. You're gonna get one one uh, uh, She-Hulk episode and then 18 other Daredevil ones. And, and like maybe one or two Echo episodes. You know, you know, I, I you know, we should get like here's the thing, like the 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 logo for Daredevil Born Again that has to change. I don't like it. It looks too generic. Look at it. I just hope the intro is is as good and iconic as the Netflix one. In fact, they shouldn't change it. They should just use, steal it. <laughs> steal it. Use the just, same intro. They should just give Netflix whatever money they want to use that same intro and then slap a new logo there, and that's it. We got Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Uh, here's the thing. Rocket's gonna die. That's the rock of the week. Rocket's gonna die. So here's the thing, okay? So we, we watched uh, Thor yesterday. Uh, that was fun. We watched yep. uh, Thor, Thor: Love and Thunder yesterday. You guys are gonna get an episode. This was supposed to be your Thor episode, but you ain't getting it because this happened. This is way more interesting. But the Guardians of the Galaxy are in that one for like five minutes. But uh, here's their movie. The logo changed. I mi- I think the old one was better. But hey, hopefully it's better than than Guardians of the Galaxy two. But we we know that this is the last time. They said this is the last time we see the Guardians together. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking their wording into account here because they said it's not the last time they said we're gonna see the Guardians. It's the last time we're gonna see them together. What that means to me is either they're all gonna die except one of them, or like half of them are gonna die, or just they're all gonna go their separate ways and not die. But J- James Gunn said on his Twitter, uh, 
an ending doesn't mean characters die, but we know we know someone's gonna die. I mean, come on. Yeah, I think I think Rocket's gonna, gonna die. I think Rocket. I also think Rocket's gonna die. I think Rocket's gonna die. I think Drax is gonna leave on his own. I think this is the last time we're gonna see this this Guardians team. I think this movie's gonna end with like Star Lord and and Gamora going off to live like a peaceful life. Um, I think Rocket's gonna die, and I think Drax is gonna go. Like leave, he's just gonna leave. And what about Groot? Groot will do, do Groot things. He's a tree. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, Nebula uh, blows up in a large, large explosion where all of her bits and pieces are scattered across the room. No, that would be that'd be too cool. I hope she just dies off screen. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. At least, at least she didn't speak in Thor Love and Thunder. Because if she did speak in Thor Love and Thunder, I would have gotten up and punched the, the th cinema screen. Good thing we missed it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that more in the Thor episode, but we missed the first 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on. Because we literally know nothing about Guardians 3. There was a trailer. There was a trailer or like a scene shown for Guardians 3 and, um, and Ant-Man 3. Um, but we haven't, they're not public, so... We gotta wait. Yeah. Uh, speaking of waiting, uh, who wants to wait for another Captain Marvel movie? Because that's happening. So the Marvels is coming out in July 2023. We got, uh, we finally get our, our payoff for the Miss Marvel show. Which you might hear us talk about, maybe, a little bit. Like, because it was alright. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all you're gonna hear us talk about it. So the Marvels, I don't think we have anything. Do we have a cast list? I don't even know. We don't know who the villain is, but it's safe to say it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Let's hope it's not, because I don't quite enjoy sitting through movies that are bad. I, I know based on my what my IRL friends think that I just love showing them garbage all the time. That I enjoy watching bad movies, and to a good degree, that is true. But I don't like watching uh, bad movies uh, that are boring in theaters. So I, I hope the Marvels is is at least a little bit good. I like Captain Marvel as a, I mean, um, Miss Marvel as a character. So maybe she'll make the movie more enjoyable. I could only hope. We can only hope. Uh, I think it's worth saying here that Kamala interacts with Spider Man a lot in the comics, but uh, we we've got nothing for Spider Man uh, for Phase Five. Or phase six, but that's uh, that's because Tom Holland's taking a break, a little bit of a break. He's not gone, he's just taking a break. But I'm pretty sure that's going to extend into each phase five movie. If he comes back, it's probably going to be in those of those two Avengers movies. Maybe Fantastic Four. Yeah, I really hope. Uh, another thing just to mention briefly is, um, I think it was Kevin Feige who confirmed that Spider-Man is going street level going forward, which is fantastic. Four. <laughs> Fantastic Four. <laughs> so I, I kind of hope he has a cameo in the Daredevil show. I hope he cameos in Fantastic Four. I hope I hope we get to see more of the Spider-Man I love. Yeah. It's kind of sad that uh, we're not gonna like see Tom Holland for a good while, because I kind of I kind of just want like you know how Groot is getting a series of shorts. Give Tom Holland a series of shorts, just like five little like. 10 minute things of him doing like street level saving new york you know like fighting off crooks and uh getting a lady's purse back you know i would i would i would love that like like we we didn't get a lot of that in in any of the movies we got a little bit of it in homecoming but that was the most we got so if we if we could see just like just a scene of him swinging around that would have been cool, but uh, we're not getting that. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. All right, Blade. I'm excited. I'm also excited because uh, this is this is a hero that I know very little about. Like for for pretty much every every Marvel movie, I at least had an idea. I don't even know who Blade is. Okay, he's not in any of the Lego games. <laughs> but I do know there was a movie like in two thousand what four. Who is Blade? <laughs> Blade is a vampire hunter. So oh, you Morbius! Blade has a katana. Uh, uh, Blade, haha. -ha. 
I get it. Um, and he kills vampires, and it's very cool. Do we know who's playing him? We do. Who is it? Marshall Ali. How? Do, what? That sounds familiar. He's um, he's a he's a big name actor. He's in Moonlight. He's in Green Book. He's in. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Spider Verse. He's done superhero stuff. He's in Luke Cage. Not as Blade. He's in Eternals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, he's in Eternals. That's MCU. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, looks like they left the plot hole. <laughs> it might be like a an extra. Wait, wait, am I wrong? I might be wrong. Are you wrong? Oh, no, he's Blade. Yeah, he's Blade in Eternals. Blade is in Eternals. He well, it's probably his like civilian mode. Maybe he's in the after credits. I feel like I'm wrong, but like I'm on the Marvel wiki. Huh. Oh. Well, uh, anyways, because <laughs> he because he played because he plays Cottonmouth in Luke Cage. And it says he also uh, he also portrayed Eric Brooks slash Blade in Eternals and will reprise his role in Blade. Maybe, maybe there is an after credit scene. I didn't watch Eternals. I don't know. I chose to erase Eternals from my mind. Uh, but what's coming out after Blade? Ironheart. So, oh yeah, we talked about that. Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Okay, so oh yeah, here's the thing. Okay, we we have uh, f so far from the lineup here for Phase Five. This is assuming it stays like this, which it won't. But we're getting three shows back to back with no movies in between. Ironheart, then Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and then Daredevil Born Again. Three shows back to back with no movies in between. And then after that we're getting Captain America 4 and then Thunderbolts. So that might that that look little sliver is probably gonna suck, because I have no hope for Ironheart. Nobody's interested in Agatha, and Daredevil's gonna be great. Hopefully. I hope, I hope Daredevil's great. I have some hope for Ironheart. I could not care less about Agatha. I'm probably going to sleep through it. Yeah, Agatha is going to... What's her name? Catherine Hahn? Yes, that's her name. Catherine Hahn is going to reprise her role, and that's it. <laughs> that's all we know. Like, Agatha is only getting a show because that song got kind of popular. It won, it won a Grammy. That's the only reason it's getting a show. I mean, Emmy, sorry. <clears throat> but uh yeah moving on with that we got uh we're finally getting our captain america 4 we got a title it's called new world order whatever that means probably hydra again because that's all we know how to do yeah that's all they know how to do well, it's got to be something that has to lead into thunderbolts new world order right how, how many bets you want to place that somebody someone important is gonna die in that movie who let's see who let's, let's guess hey, captain Buc america i don't think anyone's gonna die in captain america i think bucky's gonna die Nah, they're gonna they're gonna do. Uh... He's existed for too long. You gotta admit. <laughs> I think they're gonna do another another like team up for them. Yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna team up for the final battle in this movie. No, I, like like, like, I mean, like another another movie. Like, it's gonna be called like Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Ah. Or Captain America and the White Wolf, or just a White Wolf show that Sam Wilson is in. That I thought I thought he dropped the White Wolf name when he left the Wakanda. Nah, it's fine. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't think about it too hard. Uh, we're not going to think about it too hard. You know what else we shouldn't think about too hard? Thunderbolts! Because, let's face it, Disney is not going to do it justice. I, I'm excited for Thunderbolts, but I need to see what they're going to do with it. Because what I want for Thunderbolt is I want them to I want it to be a Suicide Squad tier movie. Or like, in terms of content, I want it to just be like a, a stealth operation with this team of anti-heroes. Maybe they're trying to go against some other foreign government that is making an evil... Or they're, or they're trying to break into Doctor Doom's lair to to steal his evil plans to get information for the government or whatever. I don't want Thunderbolts versus a, a space alien. Or if they do that, I want it to be a funny haha like Starro. I don't want it to be like them versus Galactus. <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, we're, we're going to see because it's directed by a small director. His name's Jake Schreier. He's only done like a couple movies. He did Paper Towns, Robot and Frank, and Brand New Cherry Flavor. Never heard of any of them. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what they're doing. Oh, yeah. We, we, speaking of, uh, we didn't even mention any directors, but uh, the person who's directing the Marvels, that's the same one who directed the new Candyman, the, the 2021 Candyman. Neat. And uh, the direct and uh, Blade is being directed by another. I don't want to say nobody. That sounds mean, but uh, I don't know how else to to say it. <laughs> what's what's a what's a what's a not mean way to say, someone who doesn't do a lot of movies? 
Uh, Captain America 4 is being directed by the guy who directed the Cloverfield Paradox, which is the worst Cloverfield movie. Have you seen any of the Cloverfield movies? Yeah, yeah they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I want to look, look... So Secret Invasion is being directed by another person who doesn't really do stuff. Did, and did we find a new director for Fantastic Four? Nope. No, not directing, no, not directing, no cast. Yeah, uh, another... Uh, speaking of directors, uh, they said that... The Russo brothers are not directing those two Avengers movies that are coming out. To me, that means like they're like like it could just be all oh, the because those movies don't have directors yet, so it could just be they might direct it, but nothing's said and done yet. But what I think it means is they're not gonna direct it. Period. It's gonna be other someone else probably. Maybe maybe Kevin's gonna direct it himself. <laughs> I'll direct it, guys. I'll do it. Well, we're the new Russo brothers. We're both. We're gonna direct uh, the movie, okay? Someone who doesn't read the comics and someone who kind of reads the comics. This seems like the perfect duo. Uh, but yeah, like the Thunderbolts has been uh, being built up for pretty much the entirety of Phase Four, and uh, get ready to wait because it's coming out in two years. July 26th, 2024. That's assuming they stick to that, which they probably won't. So expect it to come out in, like, December. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much it. I think we covered everything. I uh, I said what I wanted to say. I'm very excited for stuff like freshman year. Um, we're getting we're getting Funko Pops of um, Toby and, and Tom and, and Andrew and Doc Rock. That's cool. Yeah. Not a toy podcast. <laughs> That's the first time we said that one. But I'll buy those. Um, we got we got Ruby Williams Funko Pop, so we know kind of what like the Mark One is gonna look like. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm uh, it, look look. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to if you're a Marvel fan. A lot of sleeper stuff too. But yeah, th I think I think we have an interesting a couple of years to look forward to. But man, that MCU fatigue still do be hidden. And man, is it gonna get worse. It's really <laughs> hitting hard. Like, it's not gonna end at Avengers Secret Wars. Come on. Like, we're 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 getting uh we're getting into uncharted territory here. We can't even predict what's gonna happen next. Like uh, Secret Wars is kind of the penultimate thing. Like aside from like where, where do you go after Doom? Like Galactus, and that's it. Like, what do you do? Yeah, Galactus Silver Surfer. I don't know. It's... Make a movie about Stan Lee. Make a movie about me. I'm a Marvel character. Yeah. Let's just hope that whatever comes after Phase 6 never mentions the blip ever again. <laughs> but that that's pretty much it. So, Pat, Pat what are you most... What, what are, like, the things you're most excited for in the phases? Like, this is excluding the non-canon. The canon stuff. What are you most excited for for the canon stuff? Daredevil, Born Again. Uh yeah, <laughs> I'm excited for the two Avengers movies just because I'm I'm curious, right? Like I want to know how they're gonna, well, how they're gonna link up, how how they're handling this whole situation. I'm excited for Fantastic Four. I'm excited for Secret Invasion. I'm excited for uh, Thunderbolts. That's 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 it basically. I think um I think what I'm most excited for is Fantastic Four, uh because. They're kind of like, uh, that was kind of like the childhood me. I was really into Fantastic Four for some reason. My favorite is Human Torch. If anyone is curious, I guess. I'm really excited for Daredevil, even though I haven't finished a show so that's going to follow it up. So, yeah. I'm excited for Blade. Uh, I'm really excited for Secret Invasion because we haven't seen, we actually, we have not seen Samuel L. Jackson since Far From Home, I think. Yeah. That's, yeah, what? That's a long time. <laughs> That's 2019. We haven't seen Sammy Jackson in the MCU since 2019. That's kind of surprising. We'll be seeing some of, it, some of him soon. Yeah, some of him soon. Spring of 2023. Keep, keep at it, guys. Uh, and I'm also excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, I'm really, really hoping that... It's it ends the trilogy kind of like you know peacefully. I guess I don't want it to be a everybody dies kind of thing, right? Yeah. So let let it be let it be a nice ending, you know. But we we have no idea what's gonna happen because like Gamora, it's a different Gamora. It's not the same Gamora. So the, she doesn't even know who the Guardians are, and 
as far as I remember, I kind of already forgot, but she's not in Thor Love and Thunder. No, but Gamora left. Yeah. So, who knows? But we, what we do know for sure for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is it's, it's going to have a great soundtrack. <laughs> they always do. But with that, I think that's... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One, one last thing. I have one last thing to mention. So, there are two confirmed MCU projects that are nowhere to be seen here. One of them is Armor Wars. Nowhere to be seen. Uh, it still exists, but we we just we don't know what's if it's gonna be in phase five or six, or if it's gonna be in seven. <laughs> uh, and another confirmed uh, MC project is Deadpool three. That's also not here, uh, but that I'm assuming is gonna be in phase six. Probably. I feel like after feel Fantastic like Four, Armor Wars is like in a like. I don't think it's gonna get canned, but it's definitely because they, they they did say they're still working on it. But I feel like they don't know what to do with it right now, so it's kind of on the back burner. Yeah, it's kind of just. Uh, I I think they're they're like having trouble writing it. I think it might be. Probably. Because, I mean, where where do you go? Well, some some evil company is gonna get access to the Stark tech, like the Iron Man suits, and build an army for the military. So, so Mister War Machine is gonna get involved probably with Riri, and and they're gonna save the day. Yeah. Uh. So some other like. The, now, just some pseudo-confirmed ones that, like, haven't been confirmed, like, officially, but we know it's being worked on, so there's some- there's a Shang-Chi sequel, we don't know where that is, uh, there's- there's a follow-up to- I, I forgot where I saw it. Oh, the- the- the, the follow-up to fucking Doctor Strange. <laughs> Yeah, we ha we haven't seen everything. Everything. There's still stuff that we know about. Yeah, there's a follow up to Doctor Strange. There's uh the mutants, which we never know is if if that's gonna come out. Uh, we completely glossed over X Men '97, but that's because there's not a lot that they showed. No, no mutants. No Deadpool three. Like, there's still stuff we don't know about that's probably gonna be announced over the next in the, in the coming months and years. Uh, but that 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 being said, that's pretty much it. So we're not gonna do backlogged uh this episode because, uh. You know, not we didn't really review anything, so let's. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, sorry you didn't get Thor if you were really looking forward to it, but really, who was? But well, uh, check we'll in next week be for back, that. Uh, next week for Thor, yeah. Yeah, we'll be back next week for Thor. Sad announcement though, because last episode we did say we were gonna review Obi Wan Kenobi. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, but here's your small review of Obi Wan Kenobi. It's like. Three and a half out of five. It's all right. It's better than the Bad Batch. Yeah, there you go. It's better than the Bad Batch. There's your review. Pat, what do you have to say about it? Well put. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for uh, listening to this episode. If you liked it, make sure to check out our other ones where you can find it on our link tree, linktr.ee slash fresh off the real no spaces no caps uh there you'll also find a form that you can fill out to recommend us a film or tv show we'll take that recommendation we'll watch it and then we'll review it on the podcast we're also uh, august uh so the podcast is almost one year old that's kind of insane we have some special episodes planned for the the one year anniversary if you want to if you want to see more um you'll have to you'll have to come back in the coming weeks yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do something real nice for you guys. Something we've been teasing for a very long time, probably since like the podcast started. <laughs> uh, but also check out our letterbox accounts, which you could also find on the link tree, where you could get podcast spoilers because we review movies as soon as we see them. So hey, you want to know what we're gonna talk about? There it is. There's also a. Uh, on my account, we have I have a list of all the movies that we reviewed in in the podcast, and at, I I do it in order so you can see what movie we're doing next. So make sure to check out all the socials. Uh, and with that, we will see all of you in a theater near you. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Don't read too many comics.